Hi everybody, welcome back to Five Star Bit of Mind that it's Sandra Kills and this is my channel. I am already <laughs> messing this up. Uh, just trying something new and actually using my camera, which I do have, but I keep using my phone, so you know, trying out this. My boys are being a bit um difficult today. <laughs> but this is Pierre. And Squeak is currently in his tunnel. But yeah. So today's video is um a bit it's not entirely ferret related, it's more to do with my business. Um, I need to talk about Etsy. <laughs> so, if you think you don't, are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to be a good boy? Probably not. So, we need to talk about Etsy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have my shop, my business, that I use Big Cartel for. Um, and that's where I do most of my stuff. Um, it's where all the updates come first, it's where I get my best pricing and deals and offers for you guys um which is why it sucks that almost i'd say like 80 percent of my income and orders come from etsy because etsy if you don't know is a huge online platform for artists and small businesses to sell their products on and it is huge like there's so much stuff on there and it's where most people sell because it's easier it's easy to get into and it's the most accessible way to get a lot of orders, you know, that sort of thing. So I use it, um, and it's been rocky for a while now because Etsy in recent years has upped their fees quite a bit. You get, they charge fees for processing um, orders. They do like random bits of marketing and advertisement that they then charge you for, um, but I don't really see where this comes into play and they charge for VAT processing um, when you make a new listing or renew it they'll charge you for that and the thing is that initially they're all small things it's like 22 pence here and there for example and it doesn't really seem like a big deal um, until like I said recently it's been adding up quite a bit because they've been upping the, these fees a lot and it comes directly out of your profit which again might not seem like a huge deal because of course then how else would they get it? get it but um it is a big deal because usually the more orders you get the more profit you're making the more fees they're taking so uh, this has been an issue for me the past couple months uh, especially now that like in june i had a huge influx of orders and as a result, Etsy put a payment reserve on my account. And what that means is that sometimes it's usually like new shops or high risk ones that like some they're getting a lot of money suddenly or it's a new shop. They will put a payment reserve where they take 80% of your earnings and put it aside for 90 days. I think it's 90 days, correct me if I'm wrong. And you can't touch that money for 90 days. It's there basically as a fail safe. If something goes wrong, the money is there, it's safe, you haven't you can't touch it. So that's 80% of your profits from any order, which for me is quite a lot because my orders tend to be quite big. They're usually these boxes or, or a bunch of items together. It's not just like five pounds here and there. These are like 30, 40 pound orders. Um, and the issue comes when now I've got that payment reserve in my account. I've got all these um, orders, all this money that I can't touch. And then what ha happens then is that all those fees and bills come into place, which means that in the end, I take away not much money at all. As a recent example of this, um, and what prompted me to make this video in the first place, is the fact that um, I just had a 23 pound order, just a regular birthday or treat box, or treat box in the UK, nothing special there, except that almost 18 pounds of it is now in my, payment reserve that I can't touch and that is like all my all my profit and all the money I would need to actually like put that order together so that seven, almost 18 pounds that is put away now can't touch it for like 60 days or something now um so got that and then um what's it called they take away some of that money to pay for your fees and all that stuff, which means that at the end, at the end of that twenty-three pounds, I have one pound fifty coming into my bank account on Monday, which is not even enough to cover half of postage. Postage has gone incredibly expensive, and it's like three pounds seventy something for second class. 
I used to do first class, I can't afford to do that anymore. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I can't even afford postage for this one order. And that's bad. Luckily, um, all my ferret box earnings are sort of set in a different bank account and I keep my profits there as well. So I can afford to do it because I have money there from previous orders. But imagine if this is like my only income and I didn't have that money. I can't even post the order I just got, even though I should be able to. Um, and like I said, that's where Bisha comes in. And I took a look at how much money I have lost in Etsy fees over the past three months. So last three months, I've lost £32.96 in fees. So this is listing fees, transaction fees, which makes up £12.43. That's a lot of fees. And then you've got processing fees, which is almost £10. What pro processing what? I don't know. Regulatory operating fee and VAT on seller fees. And then there's marketing, which again, I'm not even sure. Because it says that it's marketing and off-site ads. But, um, oh Christ. Don't mind pushing my, um, my laptop off. <laughs> but I'm, I've never known what that, you can't opt out of that. It's just kind of there. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of this means that I lost 32 pounds basically, um, which is ridiculous because that is a huge amount of money. That could pay off one of my bills. I'm lucky that I do this just on the side and I have a full-time job and my books and my art. I have a lot of different revenue streams, which means I'm lucky that I don't have to rely on just this to keep me going. Uh, but that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> I should be able to small businesses should be able to like afford basic things and keep a business going and not be living on the edge of hello someone wanted attention this is squeak um so it's a bit ridiculous isn't it baby because you know that's a lot of money and like i said right now i've got about 60 pounds in my payment reserve just sort of waiting <laughs> to come out um <sighs> So yeah, um, it's a bit, like this city's been a bit of a ramble, but it's just, I, I feel like no one that really talks about um, big, big sites like Etsy and how it, they interact with small businesses, because the whole point of Etsy is it's meant to be an affordable option, an affordable and accessible option for small businesses, and, it sh and in most cases it usually is, but I find that especially if you sell more expensive items, the fees are more expensive. Or if you sell a lot of items, the fees are there's more of them because of the charge like per listing and all that. Um, which is why I really, really need people to preferably, if you're going to order something, order on my website. It's what I link below, and from now on in my Etsy orders, I'm going to be including a little card that gives exclusive discounts to use on my website only. Just in case you guys aren't aware, like I said at the beginning. The um, website is cheaper for me to run. Every month I have to pay a fee to like, run the website, but that fee is way cheaper than the fees I pay on <laughs> Etsy, and the orders I get make up for that. So it's cheaper for me to run. It's what's called a lot more easily accessible for you guys because you can you can everything is there. It's right there. You don't have to hunt through Etsy for it. It's cheaper prices for you guys because I have to up my prices on Etsy to make up all the fees. <laughs> and there's also cheaper postage. In fact, for the UK, I don't charge postage on most of the items. I think some I do now because postage is going up, so I kind of have to. Postage is a lot more expensive over on Etsy. Um, and also I do a lot better deals and discount codes and offers. For example, all my brand reps on Instagram, they, those discount codes don't work on Etsy. And there's a lot of big, a lot of other discount codes that don't work on Etsy. And I do better sales here because I can afford to do that. Whereas I can't do a big sale with like 30% off on Etsy because I just can't afford things there. So yeah, um, didn't mean for this to be such a ramble. It's just, it's important. It affects my business. It affects a lot of businesses. And I want you guys to be able to get the products and content of uh, the best quality you deserve. <laughs> Uh, at an affordable price and if you shop at my website or other Etsy you will get that better quality and better pricing. The products remain the same obviously but you know you'll get 
it's just cheaper for you guys, it's cheaper for me. <laughs> So yeah, from now on, on if you order from Etsy, I'll be putting an exclusive code to, be, to use on my website. However, if you already shop on my website, just there's plenty of codes out there. Just check out my Instagram down below with codes for my brand reps and a couple of charities. So just check those out if you do really want a code, if you can't afford something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, Thank you for watching. I, I'm trying to do something with a new setup. Got Animal Crossing posted behind me, because why not? <laughs> um, I've got a lot of content planned. It's just getting out there now that I am home and better and doing okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Of course, I keep the camera. <laughs> I haven't got my hands around to mine. Just... So, yeah. So, I think that's it for today, isn't it, baby? Isn't it, Pierre? So, subscribe if you're interested in any of this sort of ferret, art or business related content. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out soon, try and keep it regular again. And uh, check out my shop below if you're at all interested. I will leave a discount code below just to get you guys started if you're at all interested. There's stickers, there's boxes, there's hammocks, pretty much anything. <laughs> I have a lot more stuff coming out soon, so stick around for that. And I think that's it now, isn't it? I think that's definitely it. I keep saying that. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!